Hello YouTube, James the Caveman here. Okay, today I am going to show you one of the most irritating things in ARC history. So I'm going to show you how to do this and get it to work because it took me like a long time, maybe 70 hours or something to figure it out on my own, but I got it and now I want to share it with you. This is, I've searched it on YouTube, I don't see any other videos, so this may be the first one ever uploaded. This is a tutorial on how to get your Titanosaurus to be able to be, to feed, to eat, to stay alive on unofficial servers. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up FileZilla or how, how whatever FTP program you have. You're going to go into Shooter Game. You're going to click there. You're going to go to Saved. You're going to go to config windows server you're gonna click on game user settings dot any you're gonna click that you're gonna hit view slash edit hit OK to discard local okay now what you want to do is you want to pay attention really good here if you look down all the way down here you will look for what says you'll want to start with an R it says raid right here Raid Dino Character Food Drain Multiplayer 1.000000. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take this line right here. Allow Raid Dino Feeding equals true. This is what it looks like normally. This is what it looks like. That's how the server is. If you go here, see I've got it written down. This is how you'll get it off of the ARC actual... Um, their steam page or whatever to tell you how to do it what you want to do is you want to get rid of this little question mark Boink. copy this here okay so copy that and then you want to push after the drain food drain multiplier press enter control V or you can just paste and it says allow raid dino feeding true see mine just went in there again because I already had it in there so we're just gonna we're just gonna get rid of that yeah, so insert it right there in between Raid Dino Character Food Drain Multiplier and PVE Dino DK period. You want to put it right there. Then you want to hit File. You want to hit Save. And you want to close. I don't need to save because I've already done it. But after that, you just hit Yes to Upload. It'll upload it. And then what you want to do is restart your server. And then I'll show you what the results of that in one second is. All right, guys. We're back. I'm gonna show you. Here's Princess Strongbow. If you're wondering how I got her, I did a I did a video, but I don't know if it's uploaded yet. I'm just I want to get this one out real quick. I got her by I went to another server. I joined another server and stuff, but that's fine. Let's do this. Okay, so 860. Her food's going down. She doesn't eat. You have to physically click and then see remote use. Watch the food. See that? It goes up. Boom. Now she'll last forever as long as I have berries on her. If you're wondering what I use this big behemoth for, show you. The weight. Oh yeah, let me show you what the result in the weight. It took a couple hours, but let me show you. You can see all my forges going. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh yeah. There's four there, and then there's another forge. And they're going. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to base how to basically keep your Titanosaurus, or as I call it, Princess Strongbow. Take care, guys. Get shanked, suckers.